Mike Adams, Up North Journal here today. I'm with Jeremy Eldridge. He's the marketing manager with Hoyt. And uh, I see you've got the new Bone Collector Series, the Alpha Max here. Uh, what's, uh, what do you got going on with that today? Yeah, Mike, this is, uh, obviously we introduced the Alpha Max in October. And here at this show, we introduced the Michael Waddell Bone Collector Edition. It's the same Alpha Max, it comes with the Camel Riser. The difference is it has black limbs with the Michael Waddell signature and Bone Collector logo on it. So, so uh, we're real excited about it. I mean, it's just the Bone Collectors is really hot right now, and, and for us to be a part of that, it's real exciting. So it's uh, basically an Alpha Max kind of pimped out with Michael Waddell. Exactly, yep, yep. All right, now the Alpha Max, when you come out with that, uh, you had the Katera last year. Yeah. What's what's the average archer going to notice in the difference between a Katera if you shot that and what you're offering now in the Alpha Max? Well, the first thing you're going to notice, Mike, as soon as you pick it up is the weight. We're at 3.9 pounds with this bow, which is the lightest bow out right now in, in the uh, in, as far as everybody's premier bows. Um, but the thing we did is we didn't sacrifice any of the durability of a Hoyt bow. Hoyt bows have always been known to be you know, super durable, super tough, and the Alpha Max is still tough even though it's light. It'll still do 1,500 dry fires at 80 pounds, 30 inch draw length, which is unheard of. No, nobody else's bow can even come close to that. Um, the other things, we, we slimmed the limbs up 5 eighths limbs, 5 eighths wide instead of 3 quarters, so that took out some weight. But most of the weight came out of our riser, a new Tech Light riser design. I mean, you can see we just really sucked out as much weight as we could. But like I said, it still goes 1,500 dry fires without breaking, bending anything. It's still super durable. The other thing you notice as soon as you shoot it is how quiet it is. Mike, it's honestly the quietest bow I've ever shot. It's, I mean, I, I don't know why it's so quiet. The engineers work their magic on the Alpha Max, and it's just super quiet, super smooth to shoot, and it's deadly accurate. What are we looking at uh, FPS on, on this model? 321 feet per second is what it's what we rated at. Um, the feedback we've been getting from dealers so far is that we underrated that. They're getting 323, 324 out of most of their bows, out of most of their Alpha Maxes. And what brace height is that? Set seven at? inch, seven inch brace height. Yep. All right.